Day 56 solution, we're going to read in this CSV file of the top 100 streamed songs on Spotify. And what we're going to do next is create folders for each of the artists and then create a text file for each of the songs. And this involves a sneaky little skill that I'm going to show you here, but works really well. So my first job, of course, is to open the CSV file. So let's import CSV. And while we're there, we'll import OS because we'll need both of those. I'm going to use with open as file to bring that in. And I can hide this file pane now because we know it's there. Uh, I'll bring it back up in a minute. We start creating things. My reader is going to be CF, CSV dot dict reader because it's got headings at the top. And for row in reader, let's start by just printing out the two things that we care about, which is going to be the artist. I think it's spelt like that, the heading. I'm doing that completely wrong. Row, square bracket, artists. And the line afterwards, I'm going to print the name of the song. So if we run that now, we should hopefully, there we go, we're getting the list of the, the artists and the list of the songs. So our first job is going to create a loop to create those folders. So I'm going to bring up our folder structure here so we can see it start to be populated. And there's a little bit of a trick here because we need to create those folders, yes, but we also need to check to see if they exist. Otherwise, it's going to error later on. So once I've printed out the name of the artist, I'm going to go and put the name of, I'm going to go and put the name of the song. I'm going to go and create that folder. So the so first thing I'm going to do is list the directory. So directory is os.listdir. Then we know if any of these folders are already there. So we, what we can say is, let's set that up as a variable, just so it's a bit easier to handle later on. If artist not in DIR, so if it's not in that directory, what we're going to do, we're going to make that directory. os.mkdir, then artist. Now it might be worth doing some neat capitalization to that, but I, maybe we should. Maybe we should make that artist like title case or something. There we go. That'll make sure that there's at least a consistency to it. So if I click run now, <clears throat> okay, we're getting an error. What are we getting there? File exists, Ed Sheeran. Okay, so let's try to put in a second one and that check that I've got for seeing if they're there is not working. So let's very quickly do print dir and see how that's showing the directory structure. So we should be able to find Ed Sheeran in there. We've got if artist not in directory there and it's stopping part way through ah i think what the problem is is the directory is changing each time isn't it so we don't need to print it out but what we do need to do is every time we make a every time we try to create a new folder we need a new list of the directory so we don't end up with a duplicate there we go and we've ended up with a folder now for every single artist that was in that top 100 streaming songs next job is to put the song name in there so let's do what i did before let's make a song variable i'm not going to worry too much about that being title case or anything because we have some weird capitalization and stuff going on there i'm not worried about duplicates there so I'm, i don't think that's going to be a problem um but what we need to do is actually put the files in the folders and that involves a little bit of interesting thinking so what we're gonna have to do is use that trick we looked at to create to join the path and the name. So let's put path equals os.path join dot join. Then we put the two parts together. The first part is going to be the folder. So it's going to be, in fact, I'm going to f string this because it's going to get quite complicated. The first one's going to be the folder name. So that's going to be the artist. And we are probably going to get some problems here because that's going to have spaces in it. Now, the trick for that is that we need to enclose our artist in quotes. So the easy way to do that, of course, is to put literal quotes in. So if we put forward slash, so backslash quote, backslash quote, we're able to put the name of the artist in. And of course, there should be a forward slash after that as it's a folder. We're going to join it with the song name. And again, I'm going to do the same thing here for the song name. I'm going to put backslash quote, backslash quote there. 
And within that, we're going to put in the name of the variable, which is song. Okay, something's going weird here. Backslash quote. Aha, that's making it go weird. So we're having a, a backslash before it to say literally a forward slash, literally a quote. And that quote just closes that particular string there. I've not made this an F string though, which is why this is going weird. So let's put that in quotes and make that an F string as well. There we go. Hopefully that should work now. So then we should be able to go F equals open path W. We don't need to write anything. So if we just do F dot close, that should create the file. Let's see how we go. It's having some trouble with all the quotes that we put in. Let's have a look at what we need to do. So it is, it's picking up this right hand one correctly by the look of it. No such file directory Ed Sheeran slash shape of view. Maybe I don't need that other forward slash then. Let's try that. Okay, it is bringing in the literal quotes, so we probably don't need that there. Okay, so I've put those quotes in the wrong place. So let's let's go back to making it a bit simpler. Let's just join the artist and the song. And I think we do need a slash, so let's F string artist, so we can just add in a slash after it. Let's see how that's gone. Well, something happened there. Oh, there we go. Worked perfectly. We're getting so if I find Ed Sheeran, because I knew there was a couple of Ed Sheeran songs in there. There we go. There we go. We got all his songs put in there, and that worked quite nicely in the end, despite me freaking out a little bit about the fact uh, that I was messing around with all the slashes there. So it wasn't that complicated in the end.